Welcome to Bears and Exile. Today is Thursday, March the 21st, and this is a quick hit on the metals. Going through GLD, GD, GDX, and SLV. And starting off with GLD, which has not been my favorite. Um, last couple of nights, last night, silver was my favorite. And uh, GDX right there in the middle. And gold, eh, I'm not a big fan of it at the moment. Um, I know most people are. I know that they're saying on the, the television, get into gold, get into gold. Everyone's pulling their money out of banks. They're going to be throwing it into gold, etc., etc. I'm just not sure about that. Um, I mean, the, the premise of that is is a sound one. Yesterday we had a red spinning top after getting kicked out of the long-term moving average bar after getting back inside the upper Bollinger Band. And today we maintained inside of the upper Bollinger Band, ended with a spinning top, and gapped into the long-term moving average bar, which is a no-no. It would look better if we had had a solid green candle after the gap to suggest some strength after, uh, after essentially cheating. And uh, we simply do not have that. There's a couple of uh, positives. We exceeded the high from two days ago. Yeah, that's a good thing. We did not exceed the high from over here. That has to happen in order to really uh, confirm that this is uh, going somewhere. Um, maybe that can happen tomorrow. But that's what I don't like. Stochastics are already massively high really really high and they normally do not stay there for any length of time so this is a warning sign to me yes we have the 14 dr side moving average innocent but the position of this the uh, cci being so high the uh, rsi being so high it would make me believe that we you know right around the corner we'll have a secondary reset and can we exceed this high right here before that happens I don't know, um, but if we don't, it will look really bad, it will look like a double top. So I don't like that at all. Going on to GDX, GDX has been our mid performer, it had a very nice day. And what did it do? Had a very strong day, exceeded all of these highs, very good. Closed outside of the upper Bollinger Band, barely. Got to the lower price consensus level and backed away slightly. It ended as a fat body spinning top. Fat body. But uh, no doubt about it, it had a really nice day and uh, definitely accomplished uh, some of what I was talking about last night that it needed to do. Uh, I actually didn't think that it would do it, but it, uh, but it did. And so, uh, fantastic. Just like gold, not to the same extent, but pretty darn close. Stochastics are getting pretty high. There is some more room to move here. Is there enough room for it to overcome this high right here, which is what it needs to do, which is inside the long-term moving average bar? I don't know. The CCI is already really high. Uh, there is room to move on the RSI, the MACD, and the MACD histogram, but these two right here give me a little bit of pause, and uh, it has had a very nice uh, move up, so I'm not as leery on this one as I am gold, but I do have some uh, doubt. Still, very nice day today. And going on to SLV, which was my favorite last night had a wonderful day. It uh, gapped up, closed above the lower price consensus level. Notice that is different than GDX. Closed just under the upper Bollinger Band. It um, It's close to this, uh, this recent high, but it didn't quite get there. But there is room, there is space still inside of this high and the long-term moving average bar that it could sneak in there and exceed it before running into 
uh, major resistance, which this is. So still, chart-wise, I think that this one is uh, nice uh, as far as the ability to go up further. But uh, until we break you know, this high and this high, this is still just a box. So we're at the uh, upper portion of the box, and now it gets really important that it does something. Uh, this one has the most room to move in the stochastics, 14 day RSI moving average, MACD, MACD histogram, RSI, very nice. The CCI had a major spike today though, so that does give me also a little bit of pause. You can see the last time we got this high, that's right when it pulled back. So I'm not a huge fan of metals tonight, although I do think that uh, silver probably has the most promise of the three even though the media is pumping gold like crazy. So uh, there it is. I'm not doing anything with any of the three, but um, there it is. As always, all investing decisions are your own. This chart and video for entertainment, educational, and consumption time purposes only. Thank you.